Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cameron. This week we're joined by Pongo and Cobblepot of the Mind Sculptors. So we have Pongo on Najila Tempo. I'm playing Timna Jessica Mad Farm, a Turbo Ad Nauseam deck. Cobblepot is playing Advantage Thieves, a Thrasios Vile Smasher wheel deck, and Cameron's playing Thrasios Chrom Advantage Evolution. Begin! Begin. Any pregame effects? No. Nothing for me. Play a Breeding Pool, shocking myself. Cast this year, Ponder. I think we can keep and draw. I'll cast the Lotus Petal. I'll pass the turn after that. Draw card, Scalding Tarn. The Scalding Tarn. It's a Mox Diamond. It's a Mana Confluence. Demonic Tutor. Demonic Tutor. How did I know? The card here, and that's it. Go ahead, I'm just gonna shuffle up. Raw Return. Arid Mesa, crack that. Volcanic Island. Just a Mana Crypt. Ristic Study. Ooh, that's a pretty good turn one play. Pass from there. I'll draw for turn. I'll play an Ancient Tomb. Oh, he's gonna feed it. Two life. Well, not this time. I'm gonna start with this whole Oh. Hey. Oh, my best friend. I am going to feed it once for a talisman of creativity. Come on, Cameron! Now everyone has to feed it. Fine, everybody. Sure. It'll be fine. I'm not going to turn after that. Go ahead, Pongo. Doomed us. We'll fetch Volcanic Island. I'll cast the Najila. Are you paying for Rhystic? I cannot. And that'll be turn. Yeah, my turn. I'm going to cast the Stitcher Supplier. I'm not going to pay for the one. Stitcher Trigger, I'll mill three. Wheel of Misfortune, Scrub Land, and a Soul Ring. And I will shock the Sacred Foundry, and then I'm just going to pass my turn. Roll for the Crypt. Odds say ouch. Over turn. I'm going to Chrome Mox, Tainted Pact. I'm going to have one colorless floating. Casting a Demonic Tutor. Spend that colorless for Soul Ring. Wheel of Fortune. I'm discarding a Mental Misstep, Pact Negation, Felwar Stone, Pyroblast, and Mana Drain. Three lands, Lanamore Elf, and Transmute Artifact. Fierce Guardianship, Gilded Drake, Neoform, two lands, and Ad Nauseam. Now, I wish I could taint it packed into any type of interaction, but I'm playing Mardu, so I kind of can't. Yeah. <laughs> Underworld, Underworld Breach was what I tutored for, which is now gone. Rain of Filth and so Fury. Well, it's... I'm gonna play my land for turn. I will pass. Cobblepot, at the end of your turn here, cast Force of Vigor, Exiling Vexing Shusher. Pain an extra for Ristic to destroy <laughs> Ristic and or Soul Ring as well. Yeah. Pitching Notion Thief. All right. I mean. Ooh. All right. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, my force countered. All right. Go to my turn. Don't for turn. Play a Volcanic Island. Tap six, losing three life altogether here to cast Crown. Pain for Ristic Study. Munchies, oh. Palpa, that's at you. And then I will pass a turn. Untap. Keep draw. Start off with a Brainstorm. Are you paying for Ristic? No. Play a Windswept Teeth. Fetch. Overgrown Tomb. Shock. I'm gonna cast a Mind Blade Render. I get a Pain Crown. You can both draw. Proceed to combat. Four at Cobble. I deserve that. Warrior dealt damage, so I'll lose a life and draw a card, and I'll pass the turn. I'm gonna fire off an Enlightened Tooth at the end of your turn here, and I'll pay for the Ristic Study. Mem Knight here. Getting Mem Knight? Mm -hmm. For real? I find Mem Knight. Okay. For real. Wow. Go to untap, draw the Mem Knight. Dockside Extortionist onto the stat. Tap like this, and I will not pay for a stick in the draw. Count six, yep. Shuck in a Blood Crypt for a Diabolic Intent. It's additional cost, sacrifice, Oxide Extortionist here. I get a crown draw. Paying for Mystic. I will pay for the Ristic to cast Ains Reclamation. Mystic is the target the Underworld Breach. Responding to my Ristic trigger. Skull Tutor. Is that Noxious Revival? I will not pay. Noxious Revival targeting the Underworld Breach. I get a crown draw in here. I have no responses. I'll put Breach on top. Savine's Fizzles goes to Graveyard. That's it for me. I'm going to pass my turn. So there is a world where I could have paid for the Ristic study not allowing Cobble to draw the Noxious Revival there, preventing him from Noxiousing my Underworld Breach, but I figured if I paid that extra mana, I wasn't going to be able to still win this turn, and doing that then didn't really make sense because then I'd waste my Underworld Breach. So I then decided to try to just win next turn instead. I know that makes my Memnite Tutor seem even weirder. Don't ask me to define why I do the things that I do. I'm not really <laughs> sure. That's why we do commentary. <laughs> Had everything gone according to plan, the Memnite would have been really beneficial later on with the other things that I had going on, like the Diabolic Intent using later on. But this first time, I wanted to sacrifice the Dockside Extortionist to the Diabolic Intent so that hopefully I would be able to cast it again off of the Underworld Breach, and then the Mem Knight would have been another creature that I could sack. It just would have allowed me to fuel going much further, but without the Breach, it's completely nothing. I am going to roll for Crypt. Ouch. Drop return. Play land. So I'm going to have one floating colorless. Oxide Extortionist, six treasures. 
Has to Gilda Drake. Draw. Najila. Springleaf Drum. Time Twister. And that sucks. <laughs> it's yeah, just that, but all of my all of my interactions <laughs> Mardu interaction, so it's garbage. Cast a gamble. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I pick four. One, two, three, four. Lotus Petal. Dark Root. Seedborn Muse. Ratios. I'm gonna pass. Let's go to my draw. We'll play a command tower for turn. Go to combat. We're gonna swing four at Cobblepot there. I will take four. Dockside, pain for Ristic Study. Activate Thrasios. Favor Catacombs. Activate Thrasios again. Breeding Pool. Enter the battlefield trigger. Yeah, here, I'll crack it. Eight. Seven mana total for Finale of Devastation, X equals five. Paying for Ristic? I will pay for Ristic. Oh, Cameron, you idiot. Why did you get Dead Eye? I know! That's literally what I was just thinking then. I could have gotten one more mana, I could have gotten fucking Dead Eye Navigator. I didn't put it in the stuff, Cameron. It's just, it's just, you know, it's, uh... <laughs> we played these games before we played the games with Kyle. So my list for this is the first time that I've had Dead Eye Navigator in the deck. It literally came in the mail a second before we started to fill. Could have saved me a lot of editing, Cameron. <laughs> I'd like you to look at the yeah, length really. of this video and, and when it could have been over. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Because we still get a seed born. Let's cast a mana crypt. Paying for Ristic? Nope. Thrasios. Paying for Ristic? Yeah, I'll pay for Ristic that time. Yeah, I have one treasure left then. Actually, I'm going to pay for Ristic with the mana crypt. Let me go to my end step. Everything is awful. All right, everybody on tap. I'll cast a Phantasmal image. Pink Ristic? I will not pay for Ristic study. Yeah, it's fine. I'm going to activate Thrasios in response here, getting rid of my two treasures. We'll keep Spell Snare. Phantasmal is still fine, though. We'll enter and play as a copy of Dockside Extortionist. So make 11 mana. I'm going to snap Najila. Are you going to pay for Ristic? No. Hopefully Cam backs me up on this one. Well, I'm not countering snap, so... So far, <laughs> on this one. Yeah. Fun song. Uh, no response. I mean, like I said, Cam, if you want to help me get Najila back here so I can do the punchy punchies, that'd be cool. Can you punch him this turn a lot though? Hmm. I also get to punch Dylan a bunch. Don't yeah. let him sweet talk you. If he kills me, then you're next. That's not true. He's got he's got Thrasios, Seedborn, and Krom. I've also got Thrasios and Seedborn. That's why you need to die. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm gonna cast Force of Negation, Exiling the Taxi Probe. What's your, what's your thought process on so I think Pong go get Najila back here? I think that we all know that my biggest weakness as a player is that I'm a little naive you and I can get talk. talked into. Yeah. Right, right. And the second that I, I, listening back, I know the words that got me into it was that when Pongo said Cobblepot has Seedboard Muse and he has to die, that's when I went... You're not wrong. You're not wrong. So in a weird way, I actually do think you're right. Because if you bring Pongo back into the game with Najila, then Cobblepot has to deal with somebody else besides you. Exactly. And the teamer advantage deck is best at just laying low and letting everyone else fight. So as weird as it is, giving the other players something to fight over again kind of allows you to slowly get back into the game. Under the swan song. Are you paying for Ristic? Yes. That is fine. You get a Najila snapped. I will untap my command tower, my volcanic island. We'll cast Najila, not paying for Ristic Study. That's your second spell for turn that yeah, Pongo's wide draw. Technically, that was my third spell. I would like to move to combat. At beginning of combat, I'm going to cast on sub, targeting Najila. I get a draw off your second spell. Three at Cobble, and I'll send mm -hmm. the Mindblade Render at Dylan. Lose a life and draw a card. Two mana dorks here. Cobble, you can draw two cards. I'll pass a turn after that. End of turn, I'm gonna activate the Thrasios, feeling a mana confluence. And I'm going to crack this for catacombs. Grab a bayou. I too am gonna activate Thrasios. Bottom of card and reveal Yavamaya Coast. I am going to activate Thrasios just one more time. Reveal a dispel. I think I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna fire off this ad nauseum. This is still in your end step, correct? Yeah. Stick study. You can draw. Nothing from me. Me neither. Vamp, keep going. Noxious. All right, I think we have to stop here. I'm gonna put Najila in the command zone, discarding. Go to my turn. Alright, pick Orchard. Cast Timna. Thank for resting. You can draw the Talisman of Hierarchy. You can draw. I get a draw. Crown. Grim Monolith. Thank for resting. 
Good job. Nice turn. Thrasios activation on the stack and cast a mystical tutor. I'm going to activate my own Thrasios. Reveal Pact of Negation. Thrasios again. Reveal Flooded Strand. This is all. You may continue. Demonic Consultation. That's what I draw from my Thrasios activation. I'm going to put another Thrasios activation on the stack. Chain of Vapor. No other activations. I have nothing else either. Untap. Roll for Crypt. Yes. Draw for turn. Play a land for turn. Exotic Orchard. Cast a Chain of Vapor targeting my Dockside. One colorless floating. Cast a Dockside. Crown draw. Spell snare. Paying for Ristic. Tap Soul Rain for that. I'm going to float a colorless. Casting a Mental Mist deck. Brainstorm. Paying for Ristic study. Fetch now with Flooded Strand. All right, that's okay now. I have no other responses to Dockside Extortionist. Dockside trigger. It's like 10 to me. I'm going to cast a Finale of Devastation, X equals 2. Dots of Oracle trigger on the stack. On a consultation. We're going to start off with a Thraxios activation here. Reveal this spell. Active negation. Are you going to pay for Ristic? I do. I have one more floating. Cast a Dispel. Pact is Dispel. Force of Will. Pitching Gilded Drake. Are you paying? No. I'm going to activate Thrasios and a Confluence. Activate Thrasios one more time. Flooded Strand that is a successful Force of Will. Oracle trigger, so I've got one, two, three, four. It's going to go like this. Pay one life just to reveal a Noxious Revival. Then I'm going to pass turn. A Mana Crypt trigger. It's discarding down to... Draw for turn. Play Tropical Islands. Cast Chromox Pain one for Ristic Study. Flint Horn Elves underneath that. Eldritch Evolution Sacrificing Crown. I'm going to activate Thrasios. Reveal a Misty Rainforest. Activate Thrasios. Scalding Tarn. Taiga. Yeah, that's going to be hit on my activations here. Swan Song. That I will dispel. Are you guys paying? I'm not paying. I'll pay for one of them. I have a colorless floating. Deflecting Swat. Dispel. Yeah. Activate Thrasios. Bottom. Reveal Fierce oh. Guardian. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That was not. All right, well, we'll fierce guardianship that deflecting swat then. I think you cluster storm now. Yeah. And you just point them all at the uh, Eldritch Evolution. At the Eldritch Evolution. And then I come back with fluster storm. And then you just have to pay for some copies of the fluster storm. I will pay the city of brass. Okay, so so I'll pay for three. That means that the flutters, everything of mine is going to get countered, is what that means. I have nothing else, so I'm going to pass at that point. Down. Untap. Our untap step, comrade. I'll draw. What's the island count? I have three. I have three. I'll play a carpet of flowers. Are you going to pay for the Ristic? I paid for it. I guess I'll send three in the air at Cobble. I'm going to activate Thrasios. Limb Tools Vault. Activating Thrasios again. City of Brass. I'm not oh. sure. Okay, well. I do not know. I'm not sure how that happened. So that's a DQ. So we win. <laughs> I'm just gonna take three, I guess. Second main, I will have a carpet of flowers trigger. Triple blue. Eldritch evolution, sacrificing Lanowar elves. Heuristic. I will pay for Heuristic. Crack a flooded strand. What did you do with that extra city of brass, by the way? Did you just cast the side or? Cobble, for what it's worth, I think you make Cam activate Thrasios here. Right. Yeah, I'm just gonna toss this to the side. Cam, I'm passing to you. We're gonna bottom, reveal Gilded Drake. This is two life for this one. Kind of helps, but doesn't really help. Haiga, to play tapped. One last one, bottom, reveal Deflecting Swat. Close, but no cigar, fellas. Nothing else. All right, I'm going to need to activate. Red Mesa, that's all you get out of me. It resolves. But you're getting another Dockside? Yep, 13. I'll cast the I'll cast the Thassa's Oracle. Nice. A response from me. Hold on. I got something. I got something for Thassa's Oracle. Okay. One treasure. Elemental pot. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty awkward, actually. I guess this is a Hail Mary tainted pact. Ristic right study now. trigger. I missed a couple Ristic study I'm triggers just now, so. Major mine. No help. So I want something to be in the bottom four. So I'm just gonna skip all the way to the bottom four or something. One. There's consult. I, no, I, I can't consult now. Misstep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have five cards left, so I have to keep going. Lotus Petal. 
pack negation. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, I guess I have to pack too. I have a deflecting slot. Are you gonna pay? I, mean, I will not pay. Casting a noxious revival, fluster storm. Yeah, so I think I think then I have to respond with deflecting swap before you draw a card. Bubble. Okay. Are you gonna pay for with Yes. <laughs> deflecting swatting your red elemental blast targeting the Thassa's Oracle to my pack negation. I have nothing to say about that. I do not have anything unless Cam can cast a spell. Deflecting swat. Uh, <laughs> are you gonna pay for Ristic? Not paying for Ristic, but I'm gonna have Deflecting Swat have the pact of negation counter Pongo's own Deflecting Swat. Because of the fact that the yeah. Deflecting Swat is gonna resolve before the pact does, you Full can change swat. the target of the pact and it's, it's not gonna work. So I would, I'm gonna I would Fluster to... Storm. Yeah, I'm Fluster Storming this Pongo. Ends up. So, I don't think that Cobble needed to fluster storm. I don't here. think he needed to fluster storm here either. But he did. <laughs> the fluster storm is going to remove the deflecting swat of Pongo. Okay, so Pongo, your deflecting swat's countered. Next on the stack is Cameron's deflecting swat, which was targeting Pact of Negation. Pact of Negation. That's yeah. going to read your Pact of Negation. Where does that Pact of Negation going to go, Cameron? Nowhere, because okay. the deflecting swat's gone. The mind fizzles. Yeah, if you, if you put it back on your own deflecting swat, you can redeflect that. That pact negation somewhere else though, but yeah, that's what you're doing. Okay. The deflecting SWAT will make the pact fizzle. Yes, my pact fizzles, <laughs> and then the REB counters fish. I guess with that, I pass the turn. We might just be dead to Dylan now because I don't know that anybody has any counter spells left in their deck. There's two Seaborn Muses decks that I have to try to go through. So, draw a card. We cast a Diabolic Intent as an additional cost. I'll sacrifice Timna. Not pay, you can draw a card and get this card. Cast a Twin Flame on my Stitcher Supplier, and I'm going to hold priority to tap three here, uploading two, and I'll uh, cast a Dual Caster Mage. Are you paying for Ristic on either of those? We'll use the extra two mana from the Grim Monolith to pay for the Ristic on both. Cam, I'm passing to you. All right, don't want this. Flip into Ristic Study. Second one is going to cost me two life. I'll reveal Force of Vigor. Another one, Gemstone Caverns into play tapped. That's all, folks. I'm going to cast a Brainstorm. So you have a Twin Flame on the stack targeting your Stitcher Supplier. Uh, and I have a Dual Caster Mage also on the stack. Cast Snap, targeting your Stitcher Supplier. These two Dual Twin Flames on top of the stack, on top of Twin Flame. So yeah. it's going to resolve, so and Twin Flame is still on the stack. Which means when Dual Caster enters, I will be able to make a copy of Twin Flame and make another copy targeting of Dual Caster. It. Targeting that itself. Shoot. Okay. Um, in that case, activating Thrasios. Marsh Flats, activate Thrasios. Pyroblast. Activate Thrasios. Oh, Fortune is not going to help. First guardianship. Damn it! Holy shit! How is that even in your deck? Like, <laughs> did you not cast that already? Well, I did, but that was before the uh, time twister. Twin flame gets countered. Uh, and then dual caster mage is on the stack still. ETB, nothing to target. I have a two-two. I'm gonna play a wooden foothills and pass my turn. Man, I really thought for a second that I had you. Limb duels vault. The worst limb duels vault ever. Here we come. Oh boy, it's Cam, gonna be. Tell me you have the lightning bolt. Suicide by mana crypt. That's how I have to leave it. And I'm going to move to my turn. Here we you go with the mana crypt. Odds I die. Oh, <laughs> one. oh man. I'm sorry. Oh, Training yeah. room on top. <laughs> Here's one. We'll keep mana drain. Three, four. Second activation of Thrasios. Right. Third and final activation of Thrasios. Just to the bottom. Reveal chain of vapor. That's all the Thrasios activations I can do. So let's go to my turn then. I have a Mana Crypt trigger, rolled a four, so no damage. I will draw for turn. Cast a Biomancer's Familiar. Thrasios activation. Oh, that kind of works. Well, let's keep Mana Vault. One for Mana Vault. As Green Suns, X equals two. Do you get Kinnon here? Honestly, that is what I am. Yeah, I mean, Kinnon wins here. Blue, blue, colorless. Cast Aaron. Now, bounce Dockside back to my hand. Get rid of this Chrome Mox here. Tap Mana Vault, cast Dockside again. I, I'm not even going to bother cracking my treasures because it's irrelevant. Infinite Mana, basically side. draw my deck, throw out as many creatures as I want. And the last card, oh, the last card was Flusterstorm, that's pretty spicy. 
Would that have made a difference? Mutating War Dracus. Five finale of Devastation. I'm good to- yeah, we're dead. So the only way I was able to win here was actually on the back of Kinnon. Kinnon being able to make all of the treasures that I had crack for two mana instead of just the one allowed me to still go infinite with Baron. That way, I could mutate Lord Dracus onto whatever creature I wanted to, get the finale out of my graveyard, pump up the team, and kill you two that way. I can't believe after all of the shitty things that I went through that game, I still pulled out the win. This is like the safest deck in the world, right? You can just last forever. Like, your whole goal is to just not die as long as possible, and you did that this game. You just not died as long as you could. These are the pods that you want to see with a deck like this. Only one super fast deck. Najila has a bunch of interaction. Whole of the Thrasios builds that are going to be able to still interact with the board too. It doesn't all come down on your shoulders. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support us directly, you can do so on Patreon. If you want some awesome sweatshirts like this, check out our Bonfire store. Our t-shirts are up there as well. If you'd like to pick up any of the cards that you saw today, you can do so at our TCG Player affiliate link. Our treasure tokens are available if you donate to a Black Lives Matter organization and email the receipt to playtowinmtg at gmail.com. These can be yours. We also still have our Halloween edition tokens available at playtowinmtg.com as well. We also have a podcast. You can listen to it at Spotify, iTunes, or watch it right here on YouTube. And everything we've talked about you can see at playtowinmtg.com, including our playmats. We are freshly out of stock, but if you guys want more, let us know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys next time. Real quick, I'm sorry, can we talk about why you're inching up a wall this entire game? So, <laughs> the play, I don't know, why, why are you up against a wall? All right, so I would like to make it clear, I had a massive dehydration headache for the entirety of these games. And by the time that hour two and a half, three came around... This is the last game of four games, by the way. I this was losing it by this point. I could not figure out how to get my phone in the stand correctly so that it could show the whole playmat sideways. Um, so the way that I had it was that, okay, I'm just gonna keep the mat, like, up and against the wall, and then you'll just, you'll see the mat, but you won't see the wall, and everyone will think I'm playing on a straight mat, but I'm really playing on a mat that's, like, at a 45-degree angle on a desk that's only wide enough to hold a mat. Exactly one exactly play mat. Exactly <laughs> a mat like this, yes. So that in conjunction with a dehydration headache just gave it a fuck it attitude for the day.